Welcome to Bowie State University, Maryland's first historically black college and university and one of the nation's top HBCUs. My name is Deborah Coppage and I am going to give you a tour of our state-of-the-art nursing education facilities. At the heart of the Bowie State campus is the Center for Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Nursing, one of the region's premier centers for transformational, hands-on learning and research. In the nursing department, students get practical experience in a nursing simulation wing, equipped with the latest technology in nursing education. This virtual tool will give you an inside view of the experiential instruction that is the foundation of how Bowie State is preparing our nursing graduates to take on the global healthcare challenges of today and tomorrow. Join me as we begin our tour. So this is a 12-bed hospital unit. Each mannequin has a monitor which records their vital signs. All of the mannequins are able to cough and laugh. You have a stethoscope, a blood pressure cuff, otoscope. Students have to be able to um, auscultate um, blood pressure readings. They may have to do medications, but they're also, it's also part of their assessment. Um, we have an otoscope and an ophthalmoscope. One is for listening in the ears and one is for the eyes. To examine the eyes. Thermometer for each patient and these are the probes so that they can change the probes between each patient. Okay. In the ceiling we have IV poles for IV fluids and this prevents the IV pole from being on the floor so people don't trip over it. Each bed is electronic so you can put the head up, you can put the legs or the feet up and down. It also has a feature that if you have to do CPR on the patient, you push the CPR button, it will flatten the bed and firm it up so that you can do compressions. Each mannequin has a SIM pad, their individual SIM pads, which monitors their vital signs. You can record their heart sounds, their breath sounds, and you can also change the condition of the patient on the SIM pad. So this is a handheld device that the students can use as well as the instructor, but primarily the instructor uses it to um, change the condition of the patient to see if the student is able to care for that patient and think on their feet. If we put the patient as wheezing, then we want to make sure that the student is also taking their breath sounds and taking care of the patient in an appropriate way. Are we going to put the head of the bed up? Do we need to get a, an order for oxygen? So this can be changed. I could be standing here, change this, and see if the student responds accordingly. We're going to go with severe wheezing. We activate. Okay and it gives you choices of condition. Do you want to do albuterol? Do you want to have a healthy patient? And the vital signs will change accordingly. This controls the volume so that the students can actually hear the wheezing. Lung sounds is here and you can see the different lung sounds and it does the right and left lung. So if we do, let's just say bronchi, we activate and when this is actually turned on you hear the bronchi from the actual mannequin. So the students have to assess that, that mannequin or patient um, for what their next steps would be. They have to think on their feet. Now we are going to visit Harvey's room. This is Harvey, our cardiopulmonary assessment mannequin. Students learn how to listen to heart sounds and breath sounds on this mannequin. They also have a handheld headphone set that they could use throughout the simulation suite. Typically when students go to the hospital, they may have a patient that has an irregular heartbeat, but they're not familiar with it. This gives the student the opportunity to hear that sound ahead of time so they're better prepared in the clinical setting. This goes in the student's ears. So I set the sounds from here and the student could be down the hall and I change the sound for them and ask them what they hear so they can describe the sound. But they also have, these are all the sounds that they're able to auscultate, so we have quite a few that they learn during their health assessment course. Welcome to our pediatric suite. In our pediatric lab, we have five children 
that the students are able to practice learning how to do a physical assessment, monitoring vital signs. This mannequin speaks and cries. The children are able to cough <coughs> and students have to respond accordingly to the patient's needs. We have our infants where students learn how to do their physical assessment, swaddle, and care for infant babies. We're entering control room one for our obstetrical suite. In control room one, we have a bird's eye view of the obstetrical suite. Students will perform their skill from a predetermined scenario. Our obstetrical suite features our pregnant mother, Sim Ma, who trains the students how to prepare for prenatal care through actual delivery. Our baby is placed into the abdomen for actual delivery. We also feature the bassinet, the incubator, and a crib for patient care. Students get to practice before they go into the clinical setting. We're entering our high fidelity suite. mannequin has quite a few capabilities. His chest rises and falls as he breathes. His eyes blink. He has sweat glands and he has tear ducts. Additionally, on his left arm you can actually palpate pulses. He's also capable of IV insertion for actual patient care and most incredibly he speaks seven languages which works very well with our international population in helping them to understand exactly the, the type of experience we're expecting of them. Thank you for joining us for the Simulation Resource Center tour. We hope that you will be able to join us live on campus in the near future.